welcome to the Home Builder Digital Marketing Podcast. Over 90% of today's home buyers start their buyer journey online. Here we talk with not only industry experts, but also your fellow home builder marketers to learn how you can succeed in our incredibly competitive digital world. And now, here are your hosts, Greg Bray and Kevin Weitzel. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Home Builder Digital Marketing Podcast. I'm Greg Bray with Blue Tangerine. I'm Kevin Weitzel with Outhouse. And we are excited today to welcome to our show, Stacey Kincaid, the Director of Marketing and Support Services with Pro Home. Welcome, Stacey. Thank you. Good morning. We're really appreciative appreciative of your time today. And for those who haven't met you, why don't you give us that quick introduction of, of who you are and tell us also a little bit about Pro Home and what you guys do. Absolutely. Well, as you said, my name is Stacey Kincaid. I am the Director of Marketing and Support Services at Pro Home. We are a post-construction warranty management company. So what that means is that we partner with builders across the nation to help facilitate their warranty for years one, sometimes up to 10. So it's an incredible partnership with builders because we know that their home buyer's experience is incredibly important and, you know, service doesn't stop after the sale. So it's a, it's a fantastic partnership. Pro Home has actually been in business for 38 years. It was started by a builder. It was a group of builders here in the Midwest. We're actually located in Wichita, Kansas. A group of builders got a room. We're trying to figure out what to do with all these warranty claims. Like, what do we do with all of these homeowners and all these callbacks? And I keep getting calls at midnight or on holidays and weekends. And so a builder decided that he wanted to do something about it. And this is what came from it. So we've been doing it for 38 years. It's pretty exciting. So that's the business, Stacy. What's a personal little bit of Stacy? What's a, a tidbit into the world of Stacy that our audience would love <laughs> to learn in today's podcast? Well, one of the best parts about what I do is I do a little bit of everything for Pro Home, but I have been part of the home building industry for a long time. And what I mean by that is my first career job was working for a title company, which was pretty cool. A lot of people don't know that. And I did that at a really young age. And so I actually got started with being a title escrow analyst. And so we'd create all the settlement statements of that. And then I decided I wanted to be a banker because I'm a fourth generation banker, actually. And a lot of people don't know that. So it's kind of in the DNA. And uh, then I got to do all the mortgage and that part of it. So then I learned the flip side of it. And now I'm even before that because now I do the, you know, new home construction. So kind of a cool thing that I've been involved with loans or lending and home building in some way, shape or form for 20 years. <laughs> now, something interesting there, a little side question and just more curiosity than anything else. Is the, is the founder of the company, the, they, you said they were a builder, are they still mm-hmm. a builder? Or did they yeah. abandon that company? They, they did do it jointly for like the first 13 years and then decided to dedicate all of their time strictly to Pro Home. He actually sold the business about two years ago to an evergreen financial firm out of San Francisco. Um, and they have a long-term plan for Pro Home, totally committed to it across the country. We even have a franchisee in the UK. And so, but he chose to retire a couple of years ago and now he's, he's traveling and golfing, I'm sure. So Stacy, what made you um, decide you wanted to get involved with, with Pro Home and, and the warranty side after being you know, involved with the money? <laughs> it is a really unique story. And it's really funny because the, the founder, um, I was his banker for 15 years. And that's how I knew about Pro Home. And he had tried several times just because he always loved the level of service I provided him to come and work for him. And it just happened to be one of those days. You know how you have those days where you're just like, yeah, you know, this is the day I need something new. It just happened to be one of those days. So I was his banker for a long time. So let's talk a little bit about warranty just in general, because I mean, this is not the home builder digital warranty podcast. So we want to, I want to, I want to see if we can, if we can not connect. Yet. Yeah, not yet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That'll, that'll be our new, our new spinoff coming out uh, soon. It's a but, hard charger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because, because I think there's a connection between warranty and marketing and I want to get into that, but before we get into that, let's just kind of talk a little bit about where warranty fits and, and how most builders view it. Do, do you think builders recognize warranty as like this, this pain in the backside, you know, that they just have to deal with and it's this necessary evil or, or is there something more going on with, with warranty that you see? 
You know, I think it's a combination of a couple of things because it also depends on the type of builder that you are. So what I mean by that is smaller builders, I mean, you're the one that are taking all of the phone calls and fielding all of it. You're the one that's going out and doing all of the work. And even when you have a little bit bigger ones, then you have a dedicated warranty team, you know, just for these homeowners. But I think one of the interesting things in the industry is we've seen that the customer service side of the home building process is becoming increasingly ever more important to homeowners. You know, they're seeking out builders that provide that little extra something. And, you know, I think that most builders and certainly the ones that, you know, we partly partner with see having a thorough and well-managed warranty management program is something that's absolutely essential to their business and a key component of their customer service because, it doesn't stop at the sale. That's where you get, you know, your word of mouth about how the whole process went. That's where you get additional referrals. I had a builder the other day who told me that they had a home buyer that was on their third build with them. So it, it definitely doesn't, doesn't stop when the home's complete. Tell us a little bit more about how Pro Home just kind of provides that service for a builder, you know, a little more detail about what you guys do for them. So what we do for the builders, and I think it's essential, is we have several walkthrough programs, but it kind of starts right before closing. So what we do is, is we go in and do a new home orientation. We send in one of our new home agents with their homeowner, and a lot of times the construction manager is there. So it's a warm handoff because we partner with builders. It's not separate in any way, shape, or form. We are an extension of the builder. So we'll go in and we'll do a new home orientation, and we're going to introduce the homeowners to the fits, the features, the functionalities of the home. We're going to show them all of the beautiful design elements of their home. And we do the punch list, you know, in the middle of that, but it's really an orientation for the homeowner and just a wow experience. We have professional new home agents that go in and are able to do that. And then that's that part for the homeowner to kind of do a warm handoff to Pro Home. We give them a packet that explains all of the warranty. We have a warranty document that a lot of our builders utilize that we have created. It's based on NAHB standards and RCPG guidelines and update that accordingly as some of those things change. And we help the homeowners just really understand the warranty process. And then when those emergencies come up, they call Pro Home and they submit their claims to us. And we're using that builder's warranty to service them. We schedule all of the subcontractors and trades to come back so the builder doesn't have to do any of those types of things. But then we have weekly builder meetings. So the builder is aware of all of the things that are going on with any of these homes or any of these claims. They can stay true to the warranty that they've provided to the homeowner. They can step outside of it and you know, choose to correct things out of good faith. But it's a really comprehensive process for the builder. And we take care of that from years one to 10, depending upon where they're at. But it's, it's a pretty exciting thing to be able to help the builders then focus on the next thing at next home yet still allow them to take really great care of their homeowners even after the sale. You know, the, the home that, um, that I'm in right now, we bought as a, as a spec house. So, so it was new, but, but I didn't go through the whole build process, right? It was, it was, right. but, but we did have the walkthrough, you know, and, and the one, yep. and, and that was my first time. And I was just kind of overwhelmed a little bit with the whole thing. But as I looked back at that from now, what I do now, as far as helping builders and, and looking at customer experience, I look back at that and it's like, the goal of that meeting was to find the problems, you know, to find the mistakes, to, to see all the things they had missed or done wrong. And, and I look back at that and it's like, what a dumb way to approach that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm walking into this huge new beautiful you know purchase that I just made and I'm excited about it well let's find all the things we screwed up and point them out and make a list you know and yep. and and so what you just described to me just kind of resonated that, that you're not there to find all the mistakes you're there to show them all the features and oh oops we happen to see that scratch we got to fix you know while right. we're doing it that's a side piece of the whole thing so I don't I just want to call that out as I think that's a a very interesting unique twist on that walkthrough process. Is that something that was conscious or did that just kind of happen accidentally? 
No, that is absolutely a conscious piece of that because a lot of builders, I mean, that's a lot of them go in and do them themselves because, you know, it's something that's really important. You got your construction manager, they want to know what's not finished, but I mean, hopefully they've already gone through and they've kind of done their own walkthrough, but you've been looking at this house for, you know, six months, 12 months. So sometimes you kind of get a little blurry vision with that, but I think it's just really that amazing experience for your homeowner. You know, it, it absolutely was designed just for that, to make it a great experience for your homeowner, to show them all of the beautiful parts of their home. And if something comes up and it needs to be documented, we're going to do that. Absolutely. So you guys are in Wichita, or at least mm -hmm. that's where he bases in Wichita. Mm -hmm. You've got high quality builders like, you know, the Cowgills, you know, with Nice Homes. Uh, they yep. build, build excellent homes. You know, their walls are plumb, they're square. <laughs> do you ever run into builders that their construction processes are just so shoddy that you have to basically counsel them as, as to you need to get these things fixed? Does that ever happen or no? You know, we have a couple of different walk, we call them walkthrough programs that we do. And we do have a handful of builders, like if they're going through a lot of turnover with construction managers and things of that nature, we do have quality inspection and quality inspection verifications. And what that is, is I send my new home agent without the homeowners to the home and they do a quality inspection as if they were the homeowner. So they can kind of go through and do that really meticulous review of the home. Then they can give that back to the construction manager. They go in, they fix everything that's on with it. We go back and check to make sure that it's complete. And then we will do the new home orientation with the homeowner. So we do have a handful of builders that choose to do it that way. So I wouldn't say that it's necessarily that the quality of their home is not right, because I don't think that's it at all. It's just, I think sometimes you can kind of get, you know, blind, you know, if you're staring at the same white walls for that many months, but it's just an extra layer of, of inspection. It's an extra layer of allowing the builder to deliver a more consistent home on a more consistent basis. And I think that's what it allows those builders to do. So Stacy, let's, let's tie this back to marketing a little bit now, if that's all right, because, because yeah. I think there's a real opportunity here that a lot of builders are missing with, with warranty. And I, and I think it, I think there's a couple of reasons why, but I want to get your take on it too, before I just kind of spill my guts. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, so why do you think the marketing department needs to care about warranty? Oh man. Well, of course I am the marketing department for pro home. So I absolutely believe that a really comprehensive warranty program should be a true extension of that builder's brand. It helps them fulfill, you know, their end to end buyer experience that, you know, quality builders really want to have for their homeowners. They don't see the home buyer's experience as transactional, but just rather the continued relationship when it's done right you know, you get unsolicited referrals and, and feedback and quality leads. So I absolutely feel like the marketing department should care because it, it's an extra exciting part to offer your homeowners, you know, that you're, you're going above and beyond it. You spend all of this time with them for like this last six to 12 months, and then you're just going to drop them. Absolutely not. So I think the marketing department should be like, this is something cool that we offer. This is something amazing, an amazing part of the experience. We're going to build your home and then we're going to take care of you, you know, through the warranty piece of it. So it's, it's super important for the marketing department. You know, one of the interesting challenges that we have when we do search engine optimization, the SEO work for, for builders is reviews that show up when people mm -hmm. search, right? And, and the bad reviews when those come along from, from buyers typically come because they're frustrated in the warranty process. Would, is that something that, you, that you've seen and, and would agree with? I would agree with that. I, you know, I have a couple of different builders that use some of the really big surveys out there like Avid and Alliant. And, you know, they offer the surveys right after the pre-closing walkthrough and a couple of times throughout the term of the warranty. And so I absolutely feel like that's something that's overlooked. And it, that's kind of the nature of why Pro Home started is how do you, you know, take their money at the end of the day at closing. And then on Monday, tell them no, that you're not going to fix this or that, you know, I mean, how do you, how do you do that piece of it? So, you know, I think warranty offerings can absolutely be a selling tool for all of the builders. Yeah. There's, there's nothing, uh, 
harder than trying to SEO your way above bad reviews. <laughs> it's a whole lot easier to not have bad reviews to start with <laughs> and yes. fix and fix whatever the problem is that's causing yes. them to be frustrated. Um, and, and that way, because the new buyer, where are they going? They're going online. They're, cert- they're looking for information about you. And then they see all these complaints, right. you know, these, these bad negative. And that's now you've got to sell against that and market right. against that and compete and explain why they should ignore that as opposed to getting warranty right. And now those go away. And I don't know that everybody always sees that connection um, right there. Yeah, I, I absolutely feel that way about the reviews because that's a big part of it. And that's the whole thing. When you look at, you know, whether you build one home or whether you build, you know, 750 homes a year, you know, that word of mouth and that customer service experience, I feel like it's just increasing across the board. That's what homeowners are looking for. I've had a builder specifically tell me in the Las Vegas market that he will absolutely fix anything. He does. I mean, even though he has a warranty that goes along with it, he feels like his experience with his homeowners is so essential that he will absolutely do anything. He goes above and beyond. He calls them, you know, at least once a month afterwards. It is increasingly important. And I hear it all over the place. So it's really important. All right. So I relocate to Vegas. I buy one of his homes and my girlfriend and I break up because I can't stand her design choices that she made. Can he fix that? Now, design choices, I'm not going to speak to that builder. That was the tough oh, okay. one, Kevin, with different, design different thing choices. To fix. But you know what? If you're going, you know, you move in some, uh, I'm going to, because we've been in business for 38 years, you know, if it was post-occupancy damage, so you've sold the house, you move in, you scrape your kitchen table down the side of the wall as you're, you know, trying to get everything in the house. And then you call the builder and they're like, mm, you're the one that did it and I'm not going to fix it. This guy says, you know what, I'm going to take really good care of you. We're going to come out. We're going to touch up your wall. You know, he he wants it to be an amazing experience. I, you know, we have other builders who are like, yeah, post-occupancy damage. We're going to come and we're going to do paint touch-ups at 12 months and we'll touch up anything that you need to have touched up. I mean, that's going to, I mean, your painter's going to be there anyway, probably for drywall cracks or something like that. You already have them with your subcontractor agreement, probably for that first year of warranty work anyway. Why not have them take care of everything that happened in the house? I I think that's, that's a terrific idea. I, I remember scratching the floor the day we moved in and just going, oh my <laughs> gosh, this wood floor. Is, it, you know, because you're dragging boxes and moving pianos and all this other stuff. And it was, it was like awful. It was like, like oh my gosh, how did we ruin it on day one? But uh-huh. uh, yeah, that's great. And pardon my ignorance, but how much or how many builders don't offer a partnership style or partnership relationship with a warranty service uh, that they could use that as a marketing tool that, you know, Hey, we're a pro home builder. We, we, we partnered with pro home, the 38 years of warranty service, yada, yada, yada. Uh, If I'm understanding your question correctly, it's about how many builders there are or are not using us. There are not very many people um, that use a third party to do it. A lot of people like to do it in house because they want to make sure that they have it taken care of. But the third party is, and what I love about this piece of of our business is it is objective. It is somebody else. Now, true, they do partner with us to do it, but it's not the construction manager and they're looking at it. You know, we schedule the subcontractors. We follow up with the homeowner. We follow up with the subcontractor to make sure that it's all complete. So there's a lot of benefits to having somebody else do that as opposed to you doing it. We have proprietary software that is designed in-house. We document, track, photograph. We retain it all for 11 years. I mean, we just did something for a builder the other day that was from nine years ago. The homeowner came back from nine years prior. We had all the documentation, all the photos, everything. And we always joke because we heard a builder one time say that, you know, he loved using this because it was much better than writing down what the homeowner said on a sticky note and sticking it on the dash of his truck. And then two months later, he found it and he was like, oh, I'm supposed to go do that homeowner. So there's a lot of people that, that aren't using anything. They're all doing it themselves. And this is just a way to make it just a really seamless process and an amazing wow experience for home buyers. It allows that home builder to continue to shine without having to do the legwork so they can concentrate on selling more homes. Absolutely. So that's kind of funny. That's almost our tagline. It's we allow builders to do what they do best, build homes, because we take care of the rest of it for them. But 
we keep them all updated. We provide them with weekly updates with everything that's going on. So they absolutely know, you know, from top to bottom, what that experience is for their homeowner. After this call, I'll give you a, uh, sorry, Greg, after this call, I'll give you an address to send my commission checks to for, oh, okay, for that tagline. Okay. That would be great. Thank you. <laughs> I, I just want to go on record then. So sticky notes on the dashboard, not mm-hmm. a sustainable, scalable system. What about sticky notes on the computer monitor? Because I'm just saying, I, 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 sometimes they, they go right down here on the monitor. Well, see, if you have okay. the proprietary software, Greg, <laughs> then you just put all that data in there and then we'll just track it. So gotcha. Be good. Gotcha. All right. So oh, go ahead, Kim. From a customer service standpoint, and, and I don't know, I don't, I don't mean to go sideways on this, but is the salesperson, are they bought into wanting to make sure that that three-year-old homeowner now is happy with their purchase versus a company that their whole reputation is built on making sure that that customer is happy with their purchase for a minimum of 10 years. We have a lot of sales agents that have worked with particular builders for a long period of time. And those, they build that relationship with those home buyers. And so after the sale, those home buyers will still come back to the sales agent and they'll still ask them questions. Sometimes we get phone calls from sales agents, from builders that say, hey, Mrs. Smith wasn't sure how to get a hold of you or they had questions about it. So sales agents absolutely should see the value and the benefit. That's where the marketing department should see it is because that's taking care of that homeowner. You know, and I understand that they're moving on to the next one, but when you're still getting phone calls from people that you've already sold homes to, you still want that repeat business. Realtors still do that type of thing, right? You sell a home and then you're like, here's my card, refer your friends, you know, don't forget to tell me about this and that. I don't feel like it's any different for a sales agent for a new home builder because you're still looking for referrals. You're still looking for that word of mouth information. So I, I would you know, argue that it's incredibly important for a salesperson to feel the need to really want to take care of your homeowner even after the sale is complete. So there's a there's another element to warranty that I think a lot of builders are missing out on. And and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this away for the price of admission, right? What you guys, <laughs> what you guys but 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 there's a statistic from Zillow that they that that I've used in and and seen in some other scenarios where about 64%, I think they said of of their home buyers consider new construction, but then only about 9% end up actually buying new construction. The rest of them buy resale, okay? Right. And so as, as builders, when we think about who we're competing with, we compete more with resale than we do with the builder down the street. Mm-hmm. And, and the one thing that resale can never compete on is the warranty, right. you know, the, the, the newness of it all. and the opportunity to say, you know what, you buy this house and it doesn't, for the next year, whatever goes wrong, we fix it. You, you know, how, how often do you get that? And I, sometimes there's these little, you know, warranty packages and guarantees that you can get for a resale home, but, but it's not standard for everybody comparatively. And I just think that that's a huge selling opportunity for builders that, that, that I don't see tout when we make websites and we're talking about messaging and all these things, I don't see them talking about that warranty is this tab over in the corner off by itself for the current customers to fill out a form and, and ask for help. It's right. not a sales tool. And, and I guess, I, I don't know, Stacey, I, I, that's one of the reasons I was excited to talk to you today is because I feel like there's an opportunity here for a lot of builders that they're not tapping into. Just like to get your thoughts on that. No, I I absolutely agree with that, you know, because you're right. Sometimes it is just that afterthought, you know, it's all about the build and that type of thing, but it should be an entire experience, you know, having a builder being able or a salesperson being able to confidently, you know, speak to a comprehensive and well-managed warranty program. I think it would bring them peace of mind. You know, it's, it's something that's really exciting. It shows that the builder truly cares about the homeowners and their experience from the day that they sign the contract until the end of the warranty term. And it's kind of buying a home with a safety net for home buyers. So that's why it's, you know, different. You just said that you can buy the little, you know, home guarantees if you buy a resale house or something like that. But this is a comprehensive, you know, warranty program and and a really neat way to offer homeowners a safety net from a house. I mean, you're, you're picking this builder because 
this is your dream home. You're spending an incredible amount of money on it. You've probably researched it at length because you just don't pull up Google and go, oh yeah, that's the builder I'm gonna do. You spend some time, you look around. And so when you're thinking about it as a selling tool, what a great way to have an entire comprehensive program from start to finish. And I think as we look towards the, the movement toward doing more and more of the transaction online, you know, buying homes and, and people that are, you know, their, their builders are having folks buy homes that they have not visited, that they have <laughs> not seen, you know, and, and things. I think one of the, the key hurdles there is solved by a good warranty program, right? That, that, that fear of making a mistake, that fear of something going wrong, that, that I didn't look at it and I missed this problem that I should have known about or, or whatever, that warranty overcomes that fear and lets me go ahead and move forward as a buyer with confidence that I'm going to get what I think I'm going to get, <laughs> you know, and, it, and it's going to be taken care of. Absolutely. So Stacy, as you're kind of looking ahead at what, what are some of the things that you see coming, you know, that builders should pay attention to, especially kind of in, in the warranty area? Do you, do you feel like things are changing? Is it kind of, you know, status quo or what, what do you see coming? I, I see a lot of changes. I've been, you know, in customer service from a, for a long time. And I think if individuals think about just themselves personally, what you expected out of customer service, you know, a few years ago is night and day different on any, in any, you know, different field is night and day different now. You know, there's so many different builders in the game. I mean, there's what, 722,000 builders nationwide. That's a lot of builders. Um, and so what's going to set you apart from the next one down the road and customer experience has been like a resonating theme across the country with different builders. And I think home buyers are just becoming more and more savvy. I feel like they are less and less tolerant of, you know, a mediocre experience. They're lo really looking for, you know, something that's really satisfying, um, that's very quick access. You know, there's so much out there where you can have negative media, you know, with social media and everything out there, you can, you talked about, you know, Google reviews and things of that sort. But I think that, you know, homeowners are just going to continue to ask for that huge level of service from start to finish. And that finish isn't when they move in, they're going to be looking for the entire package. And I think that the warranty program, um, you know, builders, if they have a fine tuned fine tuned system, that helps them better manage their homeowner's warranty claims, that keeps their homeowners up to date, because we also educate homeowners. We have maintenance tips on our website. We have how-to videos, you know, just that education piece. I had a homeowner just the other day who'd never had, it was, she was a first time home, bu home buyer and she had questions about, you know, window weeps and cleaning different things. And I'm like, well, we have how to videos on our website. And she's like, oh, that's great. You know, I didn't know that builders offered that. We're like, absolutely. Your builder does. And that was a nice home, Kevin, in case just you needed to know for that Boom. piece of it. But I think buyers are going to expect to interact with their builders through technology interfaces that allows them, you know, direct access to work. They want to know how their claims working. They want to know where it's out in the process. Our system allows, you know, home, home buyers to do that where they can go in and they can look and see when they're coming, you know, what's been completed. And I think it's just going to be really exciting going forward to see the different trends, but I really feel like customer service is a huge, huge piece of that. Well, Stacy, we really appreciate your time today. Um, you've been very generous and shared a lot of ideas. Are, just as we kind of kind of wrap up, what are what are some places that that you look for for new ideas and, and that you would recommend builders be paying attention to as well? Well, other than your podcast. Uh, oh wow, she slipped that oh, in. Oh, the, the answer of the decade, <laughs> Stacy, you rock. Well, your podcast, of course. <laughs> you know, they have to do that piece of it. So absolutely. I've listened to your podcast several times. I love it. It's great messaging. I do hope that builders listen to it because it's an essential part of the business. Marketing is important. Home buyers and their experience is important. Um, other resources that I, even I use personally is, you know, the NAHB forums. There's a lot of different things out there. There's clubs and communities that are available. Your local, you know, Home Builders Association is really important just for collaborating and connecting and getting different ideas. 
and of course LinkedIn, because there's a lot of different things out there um, where you can connect with other builders and, and really just drive that focus. Well, thank you, Stacy, for the, the the high recommendation. If if we were on video, <laughs> you'd see us both blushing now, right? So I, I did. I literally was like <laughs> mouth agape. I was like, I know, what? you were in shock. Like what? Well, it's, it's, you know, we, we now have three listeners we know about. That's great. So, so there's, the, <laughs> so it's terrific. So, no, but, but Stacey, any last uh, thoughts or, or advice you want to leave with folks today as we kind of come to an end? I just, for home buyers, you know, if you can, and, and builders, if you can deliver, you know, your warranty and do it consistently and just have it done well with professional support and expertise, um, you know, comprehensive documentation to, you know, protect yourself, but just an overall experience with an effective warranty program is just so critical um, for marketing and for that word of mouth and the referral to continue to keep your business growing. And that's what we want to do. We want it to be a true partnership with builders and we want to be that extension of them to, to make it a wow. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. If, if people want to learn more about Pro Home or connect with you, what's the best way for them to do that? We are all over the place. So of course, you can visit us at ProHome.com. We're also on LinkedIn under Pro Home and Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, we are there. So, but ProHome.com is the best way to find us. All right. And we'll drop that uh, link in our show notes as well for everybody. Well, thank you again, Stacy, for spending some time with us today. And thank you everybody for listening. And please join us again next time on the Home Builder Digital Marketing Podcast. I'm Greg Bray with Blue Tangerine. And I'm Kevin Weitzel with Outhouse. Thank you. Thank you for listening. To learn more about how Blue Tangerine and Outhouse can help you generate more qualified home buyer leads, visit bluetangerine.com and outhouse.net. If you've enjoyed our show today, please tell a friend, leave us a review, and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Be sure to join us again on the Home Builder Digital Marketing Podcast.